All right. Uh, let's see. Did we did we talk to any of these? I don't think we talked to anybody. Nilus. Really? What did we just emerge from the? Yeah, I think we just em emerged from the dorm and didn't talk to a single person. Oh. Okay. Hey, June. Could you do me a favor? What's up? <sighs> Sylvette still has my favorite lip gloss. She doesn't even use that color. She's totally goth. Maybe you could go get it for me? Who? Uh. Uh, Sylvette. She pretends like we're not friends, but she does that with everyone. Well, I... Thanks, June. You're the best. Pretty in pink. I have a really good feeling about this next shrine, June. And who knows? We might make a groundbreaking discovery. Uh, and get you home, of course. When your sword glows again, we should look very closely. There's got to be a clue we're missing. Oh, hey, June. I was just, uh, looking something up on my phone. What you looking at? I just wanted to know what it would look like if you were, uh... About to die on another planet? I mean, there has to be a better way to say it. <sighs> Drifting into eternal sleep? Sure, huh. Anyway, there doesn't seem to be a lot of info out there. Sorry, June. Hey. Hey, Vesper. What's up? Nothing. Oh, wait. Uh, you busy? Nope. Just, uh, trying to get back home. Salut. Sure, sure. But are you busy right now? I lost my favorite manga somewhere yesterday, and I need to find it. Where was the last place you remember seeing it? <sighs> That's the problem. I have a terrible memory, so you have to help me find it. I mean, will you yeah, please help me find it? Sure. Yes! What does it look like? It's really hard to describe. It's black, I think. And it's got this cool guy on the front. I remember reading Behind the Bleachers the other day. Let's start there. New quest, the missing manga. Manga! Mango! Oh hey, is that- we haven't spoken with this girl, have we? The one with the black wings? Also, you're stuck. Uh, yeah, sorry. No, we haven't talked with her. Sorry, I'm just trying to bring up a, uh, a better setup for- Is this Sylvette, perhaps? Uh, maybe? They said that she was goth. Yep. Ah, it is a bit. Now, she looks like a harpy, but specifically, there's that one bird that is like white, black, and then does have like the red or the yellow. Ah, I, I forget the name of it. What? Oh, hey. I was just uh, admiring your lipstick. It's blood. Oh! Huh. Not really. Let me guess. Luck sent you over. Oh, yeah. She did send me over. No loss. For her stupid lip gloss that I've tried to give back three times. Dana Kumpa? Wait, what? I thought... She is obsessed with me. She's been trying to give me a make-under for six months. How lame is that? <sighs> Here, take the lip gloss. And don't let Lux manipulate you. It's just sad. Oh, uh, okay. June got some fancy lip gloss. So at this point, she is starting to learn more about the character of Lux and Vesper. Lux gets no friendship Mostly points Lux. from us. Ready to kick some ass tonight? 
ready. Ha! That's what I like to hear. Oh wow, you got it back. She totally played it cool, right? Pretended we weren't friends. And she hated the lip gloss. Oshenda? She said something about a make under? <laughs> I just think she'd be so much prettier with some pink, don't you? Uh, let's see. I like the first one. Yeah, she should wear what she wants to. Yeah, don't force people to wear makeup. I think she should wear what she wants to. Uh, uh, well, you're no fun. You should keep the lip gloss, Jun. It totally goes with your mask. That's funny because... If she, even if she put it on, you would never be able to see it under the mask. I want us to take the mask off and we're actually just one of the Emirates as well. We're just all hair <laughs> under there. Just like cu proto-cousin it. Mm -hmm. But how would anyone see it? You'll know it. And that's all that matters. Pretty in pink. So that's the end of that. Uh, let's see. If we check contacts. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Lux. She is a demon siren, specifically, age 17. Widely considered to be the queen of gossip around Arkeo, Lux knows just about everything about everybody at the academy. She seems to fit in with any clique, but she was known to annoy Lizum past her breaking point. She's Vesper's twin sister, and the two of them can often be found bumming around town together. Special ability? A unique ability that causes enemies to temporarily attack each other, or prevent them from casting spells for a short time. And there's Vesper. He's also demon a demon siren. siren. 17, almost the polar opposite of his twin sister Lux. Vesper is aloof and a bit weird. He can usually be found lounging around with a stack of manga, oblivious to everything going on around him. He loves exploring the nearby shrine, always jumps at the chance to do anything exciting, and potentially dangerous. Special ability, violent magic which causes... Shock runes to automatically trigger, stunning enemies and dealing more damage for each shock rune in the area. Hopefully we can get to assign more abilities. Maybe bring more people with us into the shrine? We're leaving Lux outside though, because she- I don't like her. <laughs> oh hey! Oh, it's this guy. It's the baseball guy. Yo, June! Did you watch last night's game? Oh, no. Sorry. Bases were juiced, and then the pitcher threw a beanball. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't believe you missed it. Yeah. The juicing sounds incredible. What a game. What's juicing? I think he's making up terms. Uh, and for somebody that doesn't, doesn't know actually that much about baseball. Now, she almost looks like a water nymph? Yeah. Water dryad? Yeah. Because even her hair turns into wave. Well, a waterfall, mm -hmm. if you will. Oh, you startled me. Inara. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm jumpy. My name's Camellia. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm June. Oshenda? You're not from around here, are you? Why do you say that? Oh. You look like you're from somewhere else, is all. Got a different vibe. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm from out of town. <laughs> I had a feeling. Mm, nope, not here. Oh, I swung by the arcade later that day. Maybe I dropped it there. Oh, hey, who's that guy that looks like he's made out of rock? I don't know. Three hundred! <laughs> Oof! Three hundred and one! Eva team? Watch up to? Training, of course! Looks tough. Not at all. Didn't catch your name. Oh, sorry. I'm June. And you are? Folks around here call me King. <laughs> As in the king of the training yard. <laughs> He has a bird perched on his head, you notice? Here, you try. It's only 400 pounds. Don't worry. Uh, maybe another time. 
You know where to find me. But yes, he does have a bird on his head. Mm -hmm. He's a tall bird, Brian. <laughs> really, it's just, haven't you noticed that with characters that are technically made out of what's supposed to be unliving objects like metal or stone and Yeah, or tend to attract birds. Yeah, the birds just want to sit on them. Heedless of the fact that they're moving. <laughs> oh, hey. I don't know if we've ever seen this demon girl. Nope. Or guy. It's a guy. Hey, I haven't seen you around here before. You from out of town. Uh, yep. Just switch schools. Cool. You been down to the arcade yet? It's way cool. I could show you around sometime if you wanted. Sure. Mm, yeah, I know. Hey, Christopher. Really? Sure. Maybe another time, though. I'm pretty busy with the whole uh, just moving here thing. Totally. I'll I'll be around later. Uh, right, because she has to focus on destroying a shrine every night so that she has a rune for, what, each day so that she can get back before yeah. the time limit? Was there a time limit? I uh, well, supposedly she dies at some point. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to oh. check every area. Oh, yeah, because Lisa was down there. Yeah, because it's kind of like Night in the Woods. Aha! Every day, there's going to be different people in different places with new dialogue. Oh, there's the it's weird, creepy eye guy. Noon the human. It's good to see you again. How's Emerus treating you so far? <sighs> okay, I think. Hey, about the other day. How did you know I was human? I know a lot of things. I know you're in some serious trouble. Salutar. How do you even plan on getting back to Earth, June? Hmm. Well, I mean, the friends are helping her out. And the clicking the heels a couple times is a reference to, to the Wizard of Oz. I know that, but she shouldn't really be taking this with too much brevity. I don't know. Oh, I, I do that. I've got friends here now. Spanium. I've got friends here. That's a start, I suppose. But you're gonna need more help than that. What do you mean? Your plan is to keep exploring the shrines around Archeo, right? You're on the right path, at least. Uh, how do you... Have you been following us? Like I said, I know a lot of things. You're not about to disappear again, are you? <laughs> Everyone's got their thing, I guess. I'm really good at exiting a conversation. Well, before you exit the conversation, can you tell me something? Sorry, gotta go. One word of advice, though. Choose your friends wisely. See you tomorrow, June. What is that supposed to mean? It means Lisa's trying to trap us here forever. Oh, but why? Actually, turn us into a demon girl, so we'll never leave. I mean, but she would be the obvious one. I, I would ex anticipate there to be a, someone that's... Turns out Lux is the only good character. Everyone else is terrible. <laughs> hey friends, it's Aki again. Today, I want to talk about shrines. Super secret, definitely forbidden, totally cool, magical places. But what the heck are they even for anyway? No one knows for sure because no one's been down there for like decades. But unless you're willing to break in, they're a total no-go. Pretty lame. I would love to check one out someday. It's not here either. Kid Totters. Oh man, I feel a little ridiculous. Maybe it's around the station. I like to read on the tram. This the sound is so soothing. I'm gonna follow him all around town, aren't you? Well, if we talk to Lisa, it we progresses must. plot, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, if you want to keep up with all the side quests. Yep. I think there's 
there's only 24 achievements in this game, and each side quest has an achievement, so I'm assuming there's one for each, like, character, plus some sub-characters, mm -hmm. or side characters. Uh. Dang. This really is embarrassing, but I think I might have left it in the quad. Sometimes I read on the benches after school. De la compa? Isn't that where we started? Uh, uh yes. <laughs> See, did anyone notice one of the runes on the portal was blue? Yes! Yep, yep. We completed one of the temples and defeated one of the bosses, which grants you a rune. Yep. Wait! Is that it right there? Well, oh, there, yeah. here. Where, yeah. What was it? <laughs> yeah, eh, it's fine. Isn't it that? Isn't it that right there or whatever? Anyway, anyway. You found it! Do humans have, like, a sixth sense for this kind of stuff? I can't believe it was right here the whole time. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, oh, hey, you want to borrow this? Since you helped and all. Give a team. Oh, sure. Thanks. Booty, Booty kicker. kicker. And it's by Emery Press, Volume Delicopa. 3. What? Let me know what you think. I've been dying to talk to someone about it. Can we, we read it? Vesper's manga. A manga with a really cool guy on the cover. Apparently, there's a crazy twist ending. I have no idea why we have this thing. And we can't look at it, unfortunately. Oh, side quest. All right, we still have to ask Lisa about the... Lock it. Yeah. Okay. Onwards we go. Place this direction. So, hopefully we can ask Aliza about the locket sooner than later, but... The locket had a rune on it, too. Oh. Did it? Well, we did find it in a dungeon, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go check the portal. Not that there's a whole lot of dynamism to this game. It's pretty linear. But we might as well, I don't know. I don't know if it would... If it would actually... Oh, wait, isn't it the second symbol? Yeah, it is. I wonder if the locket will serve as a key or some kind of device that you use in that next dungeon? The, the dungeon. Maybe. Oh, hey! Kate Daru said! Hi! How, uh, how's your day? Bombium? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Like you're about to throw up. Oh, I'm just nervous in general, I guess. <sighs> You're freaking me out a little bit, June. Mm. How about the are you okay? Sure. Oh, Shenda. Are you okay? I'm fine. Wait, what? Did everyone tell you I'd be pissed? That it would be hard to talk to me? Well, uh, yeah. Kinda. Huh. <laughs> Figures. Look, I'm fine. Anyways, we have bigger things to worry about. What's the plan? Well, Cerise thinks we should head to another shrine tonight. Sounds right to me. I still wish Lux wasn't coming, but whatever. Are you sure you don't want to talk about it? I just... What was up with Lux, Lux last night, anyway? New Lux. Why does she always have to dig into me? Who are those friends Lux was talking about last night? <sighs> <sighs> Paxton and Persimmon. They went missing a few weeks ago. Oh, I didn't realize. It must have been really hard to know your friends are missing. It's more than that. Bomium. Persimmon is my girlfriend. Right before she went missing, I confessed my feelings for her. And she said she felt the same way. Right here, where we're standing. That's the last time I saw her. I've been trying not to think about it. 
Wait. We do have the locket. Yeah, we do have the locket. But what, what are the... We, I don't know. Is that her locket, though? That'd be... Who knows? But it's a good opportunity to give her the locket. Evo team. Maybe this locket will cheer you up. June gave Lisa the locket. Ah. June! Where did you get this? You've seen it before? Dana Kumba? Are... Are you... Crying? Uh, yeah, I... I just haven't seen this for a while. Where did you find this? In the shrine, the other night. I just thought it was pretty. Pamul. It is. It belonged to Persimmon. Belongs to her, I should say. Thank you for giving this to me. It really means a lot. I had no idea. Kind of weird that it was in the shrine, right? Yeah. Coincidence? Or whatever. Well, it can't be that much of a coincidence. I mean, they go missing. I wind up stuck here. We're battling magical evil creatures in shrines, and her locket turns up in one? Doesn't that worry you? You're assuming a lot, June. Honestly, I don't think it's connected. You don't? Nilas. Nope, there's no way. So, no reason to worry. Look, let's just go. We need to head back to the next shrine. Let's just focus on keeping you alive. Your daughter's at... Oh, yeah. That whole, I'm gonna die at any moment thing. Hey, are we good? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. We're more than good. Let's get you home. By the way, it's persimmon, not persimmon. Sorry, persimmon? Yeah, seem. See, persim. Wait, wait, what? Persimmon. Persimmon? Persimmon. Persimmon. Yeah, so persimmon. 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 It's a purse, Emon. Persimmon. That's what you're doing. Persimmon. Persimmon? Persimmon. 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 The thing is, they're so similar. Say it with me. Persimmon. Persimmon. I summon the great unholy persimmon. So it's like cinnamon? Kind of. But then I, that's like persimmon. No, persimmon. Persimmon. Because you, you're emphasizing the U, and you have to emphasize the I. Persimmon? Yeah. Persimmon. Persimmon. <laughs> Pure cinnamon. Sorry. I, I know that they're a fruit. They taste disgusting. I wish I could like them, but I've tried them, and they're... Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. From what I can tell, at least, you don't seem like you're... Kick in the bucket. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Ready when you are. Hey, June. Looking good. Have you finished it yet? <laughs> the ending's gonna blow your mind. I guess we had a little bit of extra dialogue with each character. Let's get back out there already. Alright, that's probably fine. <laughs> and then you get caught on the columns. I'm not fully paying attention to where I'm going. Ready to go? Heck yeah. Woohoo! So ripe persimmons are really good. Otherwise they're uh, full of tannins and taste awfully astringent. Huh. Bonia. Thanks for coming, everybody. Ascenda. Anything we can do to support you, June. <laughs> Plus, we really want to see a human do magic. Hey, Lisa. Glad you could make it. <laughs> I wasn't sure you'd be joining us after pouting around all day. No friendship points for you! <laughs> uh, excuse me? Pretty sure I've been here all along, and you just shoved your way into all this. It was clear you needed us. <sighs> Honestly... We should have been here the whole time. 
just don't like anyone calling you out. Ah, Evo team. What is your problem? Oh, so this is when you call one out or the other. Do you remember who started this argument? It was definitely Lux. It was Lux. absolutely Lux. It was Lux being uh, like, Lisa. That yeah. kind of thing. Lux, cool it. You're being annoying. I'm annoying. I'm not the one constantly bossing people around. Wait, but isn't that all she does? She manipulates people. Mm hmm. Projection? I do not boss people around. Lisa, you're getting a little red. I'm going to the next car. I can't be here anymore. I'll see you when we get to the shrine. Well, that was interesting. Oshenda. Why did you do that? Or why do you do oh, that? Oh, why do you do that? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that messed me up. Huh? Provoke people until they snap. Evil team. You keep taking jabs at Lisa, and it's not okay, Lux. Why can't we all just get along? <sighs> uh, whatever. This is boring. Makes me want to light something on fire. <laughs> like that other night, you guys saw that, right? It was like, kablam, and this huge fireball went boom! Can't you take anything seriously? For once in your life, stop interrupting. Everything's not all about you. Uh, damn, dude. That was a little harsh, Rainy. <sighs> nah, I hate to admit it, but the kid's right. We gotta remember why we're all here. <laughs> we're here to kick some ass, and we're here to get June home. <sighs> Thanks, Horace. I like Horace. He immediately is just like, yep, nope, I screwed up there, sorry. <laughs> but let's still kick ass. Hello. Ooh, this is all gears and stuff? Whoa, this is mega intense. Fire, iron, smoke, my kind of hangout. Is that lava? The people who used to live around here were engineering masters. It was basically the center of an industrial revolution. Uh, but it's a ghost town now. And plenty of dangerous rumors go to go along with it. Evil team. It's probably best if some of us hang back again, in case anything goes wrong. <laughs> You're the boss. Just an observation, Lux. I'm not the boss of anyone. Super. Ashenda? June? It's your call. Who's going inside? Ed. Lisa. Lilas. All right, let's get going. Add Horus. You know you'd be lost without me. Add Cerise. Bonium. A long wall shrine? I'm definitely in. Hmm. So we only get three. Yeah. I feel- You still feel so bad for Rainy. You know, he might be beneficial in a fire dungeon, but I don't know. Well, the thing is, like, I Horus so, is my dude. And Cerise knows about the shrine. We also need Cerise's Healy ability. Yeah. So the only one to maybe pull out would be Lisa. Mm-hmm. I just wish I could bring a fourth, so it'd be... But if you think about it, for Simmon... Did I say it right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For Simmons Locket had this symbol on it for this temple, right? Ready. Did I say it right? For Simmon? For Simmon. For Simon! <laughs> we... Oh, we can summon more friends into battle. Seek out multiple enemies at once or extra fire. Rattle! Yep, Alright. Battle time. 
Now, isn't it true that if you were actually standing this close to lava, you would just... Burn? Oh, yeah. We would be, uh, this is, this would be mad poisonous. Well, that too, because it's, it's actually the, the va- well, not vapors, it's the, just the, the superheated air and everything would roast your lungs. Yep. Not to mention whatever gases it's expelling. I, I really enjoy the, uh, hmm? I really enjoy the dumb enemies just following me around, just being like, we're gonna get you, we're gonna get you, we're gonna get you, we're gonna get you, we're gonna get you. Da, 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 da. Well, none of them have ranged attacks at this point. They're just supposed to swipe at you? Yeah, more or less. You have everything in fire lined up, so. Yeah, but comboing spells together actually does more damage. Oh. So... The more of these I chain together, the uh, the better. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, I like to more or less set up the entire board. <laughs> and this is... What? It looks so neat and organized now, doesn't it? I know, it looks beautiful, but at the same time, they, they've landed only a couple hits on you and they're just... I'm just imagining if you were to witness this battle in real life, what it would look like. Horus is probably screaming internally the whole time. <laughs> okay. Everything okay, is, is organized. Everything? Perfect. There we go. Nice. I just, I really enjoy setting up the board in a super organized manner and then just dropping everything. It feels satisfying. And so far it hasn't been so hard that I need to care about it too much. That's an enemy? Huh. It's a ram man. He's a smoky goat. 